What are we doing? Why are we not even at the stronghold? What's going on? Oh, Teox. Oof. Even I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know about Teox, dude. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. We're maybe doing it. All right. It looks like nobody wants to touch this guy, so we're going to touch him. Yeah, get the oil out. Yeah. Try to hit Valken with a decreased attack. Yes, and we got the fear in too. Oh, I'm so good. So good. I was just about to go to sleep, but then I remembered that we have siege. Let's go ahead and do our siege stuff that, uh, oh, look at that, we're losing, we're losing. Looks like we should hit the stronghold. All right, who should we go for? All right, it looks like nobody wants to touch this guy, so we're gonna touch him. Yeah, get the oil out. Yeah. We're gonna go Taurus, Marishka, Rodos, and who else is here? I guess you can't really go wrong with another damage dealer, right? Oh wait, what about Wukong? Do I have anybody to block Reva? Where's Rhonda at? Hold on. Where is Rhonda? There you are. Okay, this should be good. We're gonna use um, Rhonda's A2 on Wukong. All right, so let's get rid of you because you're gonna take your turn first. And then we're going to use the A1 from Marishka so that Taurus goes and then Taurus will boost turn meter. Then we use the A2 on Wukong and then boom. Oh, and then boom. There you go. Your mythicals will not save you. All right. So when I'm doing siege, I like to see who like looks difficult because I'm right now in this on this account I'm on a I'm with a clan that isn't exactly like up there yet. They're still kind of like a baby clan, which is totally fine. I don't mind. But I look for where they're struggling. If I see multiple view logs, then I can tell okay, well, they're struggling here or if it looks like they don't want to touch somebody like that guy down here, then I I diddy up and then and then I touch them. Did we upgrade? We upgraded. All right. Well, let's just clean this up then. I have to worry about his Arbiter going first. Now, he doesn't have anybody in the lead here. So we're going to put somebody in the lead here on our side. I don't want to use Cardiel again in case I need him. Because we can only use certain champions so many times. What does Tremeria do? Oh, I don't have her built. I don't even know what she does. We could use the Rabbit. But we'll stick with Nekmothar because I know he's built for sure. Is Lissandra built? Oh, let me see Lissandra. Lissandra is not built. She's not built at all. Okay. Well, she's barely built. So we'll stick with Nekmo. And then we have a damage dealer. Let's bring in a cleanser. Someone to do damage. Oh, Wukong. There you go. This should suffice. All right. So we got, we got lucky. We went first. And I think having Nekmo in the lead helped out quite a bit. So then we can do this. There you go. Now you guys can tell me if I'm wrong, but am I supposed to let give a chance to everybody to attack the stronghold first? Or is it fine that I'm about to take down the stronghold right now? Assuming I can get these last two guys. All right, so we're gonna go in again with a speed leader. Let's go with an Uko. We're gonna take Uko with us. And um, we'll go do this. Do I have Ethos built? I forgot I even had him. Oh, yeah, well, he's, in the, he's in the vault, so that doesn't do anything for us. We're gonna bring in uh, Iron Gut, just for fun. And then we'll bring in, eh, might as well bring in Rhonda, just for the shits and giggles of it. So let's place the block buffs on them. And then we're gonna place Decrease Defense and Weaken. And then AoE, bunch of um, weak hits there, but we can use this move from Iron Gut. I guess they're both AoEs, or all of his moves are AoEs. It wouldn't have mattered. Never mind. And then we'll clean up here. I guess I really didn't need to save Taurus, Marishka, and Rodos. We'll just go in with Varl. Yeah, and then we're gonna take down Syl so there's no revives going on. And we're going to hit you. Get out of here, Nubkex. 
and then the AOE, and then call it a day. Okay. Yeah, so Stronghold's taken. There's Siege. Now we're tier three. I don't know. Okay, so we can get, we can still get pretty decent rewards at tier three. And look at this. I haven't logged into my main account in quite some time. What are we doing? Why are we not even at the stronghold? What's going on? Oh, Teox. Oof. Even I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know about Teox, dude. God, this is going to suck. I freaking went up against a Teox in Live Arena. And he just, he went first. Oh, it's one of these. Conditions. Only champions from the Galen pack. Oof. Uh, is Gurgo built? What I really like about Gurgo now is that he's got this boost to arena speed. Not gonna work here, I guess. We do have Marius. Marius would be good. We got a Warlord. We have Uko, speed lead. Or maybe bring in Rabbit. Rabbit is another damage dealer. We could bring in Pytheon. Now, Pytheon would be pretty, pretty dope. But then Sun Wukong would also be nice to keep around as well because it, he's a good damage dealer. However, Marius is, is here. We should be good enough. We'll see. Okay, so let's... Skills on cooldown. All right, hopefully we're going to be okay. Cleanse. And the more buffs we have, the more protection damage mitigation we have. Okay, here it comes. Boom, boom, boom. Yes! We're maybe doing it! We're maybe doing it, boys! Ah! Now we have Valkanen, a Mythical, and a Siffy. Don't be fooled by his level 75-ness. He could be going really fast, you just, you just never know. Or somebody who's gonna help me go faster. Might have to bring in Duchess, because I'm not sure how hard Valkanen's going to hit. Although I've, I've gone up against him a few times. I have a decent idea, and I, I think he is going to hit hard. We're going to go in with Rodos. The strategy here is to keep Rodos alive and stay alive. That way, Rodos can eventually do what he needs to do. So we'll, we'll see. Oh my god. All right. Put their skills on cooldown except for Valkanen, and we can't put anything up. This kind of ruined my plans because I, I wasn't planning to not be able to buff up. Oof. Oh boy. Alright, we're going to push back Siffy because that's the only thing we can do. Try to hit Valkyrie with a decreased attack. Yes, and we got the fear in too. Oh, I'm so good. So good. Damn it. And part of why I brought UDK in is so that Siffy wouldn't be able to sleep um, anybody too easily, is what I'm trying to say. We're going to place um, increased attack on Rodos. I feel like we're going to need that. Ooh, it was the, did you see that? The reflect? Yeah. Oh, level 87, not, not a 78. All right. Then we're going in. I don't know why my, my clan didn't already go through. I mean, I understand kind of that guy was in the way, but still, I feel like... That or people just aren't playing Siege anymore. Like, they're maybe they're just all over it. Uh, we'll just do this. You know what I mean? Like, if, um... I guess I should have gone in with, like... Thor in the lead for some extra attack, but it doesn't really matter. You know, if, if a lot of people are leaving, because some people in the clan were talking about just, like, quitting, leaving, maybe they're just, like, not feeling anything. And who's that guy? Who's this guy? Diamant? Alright, so we can choose from this dude. But he's got UDK, not a fan. We have a Makage in our Mons. Oh my god, dude, this team is gonna freaking suck for whoever's gonna fight that dude. I'm not fighting that guy. I already know what's up. And then this is a pretty juicy team to go up against. Level 93, but you can still pro he can still probably clap. My only hope there is outspeeding. And this one just seems like a hassle. All right, we'll do it. We're going to go for the one that, that we know is going to 
freaking beat my crap off. I don't even know what I'm saying sometimes. Beat my crap off. What does that mean? And then Marius. Oh boy. No, cause, cause once he takes it. No, cause once he places poisons, then Teox takes a turn. So like I would have to go in with like a bunch of stone skin basically or high res. This isn't gonna work. Pytheon. I feel like Wukong would be fitting in case you know somebody goes down. Somebody else tanky. Taurus. And then is there anybody that just naturally would be a good like strong defense? I guess Duchess, right? Warlords in stone skin. So I know I honestly I don't even really build my characters in stone skin, so that might be an issue. I might have to build my champions in stone skin. But it's just gonna take a while to rebuild everybody. And I'm kinda just like, uh, I don't know. But let's do this and reposition here. And this just might have to be the move unless I change to Duchess. Because with Duchess we get another we have another um passive to keeping ourselves um uh, alive in terms of uh, damage mitigation. So let's do this. We're gonna keep Warlord in the lead here for some extra resistance. Hopefully the poisons don't pop off too hard. Okay, so only two. Oh my God, what the fuck? I didn't know he blocks revive too. God damn it. Okay. Well then that just gives us an opportunity. See, we learn. We're learning. We're learning things. We're going to go in again with Warlord in the lead. Where's Warlord at? Okay, why is all of this... Uh, reserve Vault? What's the point of ticking off a uh, Reserve Vault? It's not like anybody's built in the Reserve Vault. The thing is, I have a... I can just type his name here. But I'm, I, I, like, I like it hard. I guess we're not doing that again. Wait, where's Pytheon? Wait, why can't I use him again? You can only use each champion in two attack per battle seat. Did I... I didn't use Pytheon more than once. I only used him... Uh, just the one time. I'll use them one time and one time only. Let's go extra tanky. We'll go UDK. Maybe we can get lucky with um, stealing stone skin with Uko. We'll go in with our second Duchess since our first Duchess. And I don't have any damage dealers in stone skin. My tankiest one is going to be Taurus. So he's literally it. And yeah, we'll just have to see what's up. Okay. Okay, okay, we survived. And he, yeah, and uh, I'm like, eh. And then uh, Uko was able to place the stun. Now we just have to worry about people reviving. Come on. Fear? Ah, fuck. Um, when in doubt, get rid of the damage dealer. And then Sulfurion also revives, so that's an issue. And he takes an extra turn. That's that's cool. That's good. Remove buffs. Doesn't matter. Oh god, Teox, don't do it to me, bro. Go away. Oh my gosh. Alright. Cavalax is a cool champion. I remember when I got him when he was first released. I was on the toilet, and um... I was I screamed and my wife was like, "What's going on?" And I was like, "I got him." Cuz you know, back then when I was excited to get a legendary champion. Cuz he was a he was an art, he was a champion uh developed by the community. Now I know that hey, you should probably try to outlast him first, either with high resist or like a bunch of stone skin. I guess that makes sense as to why people are building champions in stone skin now. Grandma's got a secret Little did I know I was in the devil's den